When I set up the Centre for Commercial Law Studies in 1980, the prime motivation was that the City of London, as one of the world's leading financial centres, lacked one thing only, and that was an academic institution for advanced teaching, research and publication in the field of commercial law. And that was how it was born. The fundamental principles were a high academic rigour motivated by intense intellectual curiosity. Secondly, an international and comparative approach to commercial law covering a wide range of things. Thirdly, uh, collaboration with institutions, research institutions abroad as well as here. And finally, close collaboration with the practicing profession involving senior members of the bar and solicitors who would contribute to the postgraduate teaching. So that was how it all developed and this little acorn as it was in 1980 has now grown into an oak which is the largest centre of its kind in Europe and possibly of the world. We have been blessed with high quality students and staff of international reputation and so we're very happy to be celebrating 40 years of existence welcoming all our alumni in our celebrations. My name is Lord Kitchen. I am Chair of the Advisory Council of CCLS. I'm also Justice of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. I'm very pleased to be associated with CCLS and to help to guide its development and direction for the next 40 years. Each year, CCLS educates more than 1,000 postgraduate students from over 80 countries, including qualified and experienced legal professionals, deepening their knowledge of specialist areas of commercial law. Over the years, CCLS has taught more than 10,000 students, creating a global family of CCLS alumni, senior lawyers, barristers, judges, legislators, policymakers, patent and trademark attorneys, and business people. Each student brings a unique perspective and life experience, making CCLS a diverse and exciting place to study. CCLS maintains strong links with the legal and commercial community on its doorstep. Freshfields and Clifford Chance, for example, sponsor prestigious annual lectures, and there are several senior members of the judiciary on the CCLS faculty. The centre also collaborates with business and government. And CCLS is recognised for the quality and breadth of its legal research. In the most recent independent assessment of United Kingdom University research, the Research Excellence Framework 2014, 86% of CCLS's research was classified as world-leading or internationally excellent. Hello, my name is Ian Walden and I'm Director of CCLS. Having been at CCLS for 20 of its 40 years, I feel very proud to be celebrating this achievement with you and would like to focus on the next 40 years. As the Centre for Studying Commercial Law, we must reflect the ever-changing environment around us. Changes that impact our approach to commercial law over the coming years. First, commerce is having to navigate an ever more regulated environment. Regulations applicable to specific sectors, such as banking, as well as across all commercial activities, such as data protection laws. We are researching the implications of such regulated commercial law. Second, rapid technological advances such as AI and blockchain are transforming traditional systems and ways of working in which law and regulation is having to play catch up. A third strand of our future work is to support law reform to transform outcomes in less developed countries. 
by helping put in place legal frameworks that facilitate sustainable development. We will continue to build our reputation as the place for students across the world to be educated in commercial law, as well as for governments and business to come for independent insights and solutions to the challenges they are facing. I'm really excited about CCLS's future and I welcome you all, whether as alumni, students or friends, to be part of our future and to help us build on the success of the last 40 years.